Tennessee's law that created a zero tolerance policy for school threats has led to really a surge in expulsions in some school districts. State Capitol reporter Tori Gesner looks at how the number of expulsions has increased after that law went into effect. It's a law that turned making a school threat in Tennessee into a one-way ticket to expulsion. I think what we're doing is really sending a message that says, hey, this is not a joke, this is not a joking manner, so don't do this. Passed just days before the Covenant School shooting in March of 2023, where six students and staff members were killed. The legislation lays down the law when it comes to threatening a school. Do it and get expelled for a year. In the law, you'll also see that a school director, director of school, school board, uh, does have the ability to take a look at it at a case-by-case -case basis. But across the board in general, it's a zero tolerance offense. That was 2023. Fast forward to today. Expulsions have increased in some Tennessee school districts. They cite the law making school threats a zero tolerance offense as one reason why. According to data from Metro Nashville Public Schools, the district expelled less than 10 students for making school threats during the 2021-2022 school year and 22 students during the 2022-2023 school year before the law passed. When the law went into effect the following school year, the number of expulsions nearly doubled to 42. In Rutherford County, before the law went into effect, the district expelled six students for making school threats. Last school year, that number increased to 33, including 27 expulsions specifically for threats of mass violence giving no grace to Tennessee students who make threats against schools. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Tori, thank you. The state recently updated the law to clarify that the superintendent of a district can modify the zero tolerance requirements if officials can confirm the threat was not legitimate. Now, Metro and Nashville Public Schools also cited the seriousness of offenses and the heightened awareness after the Covenant school shooting as other reasons for the uptick in expulsions.